Hey guys, this is Jen from FromHeadToToe.com and today I have another hair tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to do a backwards braid on your fringe to get your hair away from your face. This is a highly requested look because I used it in my smoky tutorial for Monolid's video. So if you've seen it there and you wanted to know how to do it, then continue watching and I'll show you how. What you're going to need for this look, it's pretty simple. All you're going to need is a little hair tie clipless mini hair tie. I got it in black because my hair is black of course so it'll hide better but if you're blonde or have brown hair then these also come in clear so you might want that instead. And also a couple little bobby pins just because we're going to be pinning the braid back. As you can see my bangs are kind of not cooperating with me today so this is the kind of day where I want to have my hair away from my face and still look kind of cute and put together. My bangs kind of split at a really stupid place. I can never get it to do what I want. But for the braid, I think it looks kind of cuter if it's a little bit further to the side. Just like that. So I'm going to gather a little bit of hair. Just like, start off with a really small amount of hair at the very inner corner. And we're going to split that into three sections like this. And then I'm going to pull it once under, and the part that's over, I'm going to add a little bit of hair at the front. So I'm going to take the piece in the middle, grab the one at the end, grab a little bit of hair and add it to that piece. It's kind of hard to see, maybe. So then the big piece that I took earlier, again I'm going to pull it under, and that piece I'm going to add a little bit more hair. Then I'm grabbing the middle piece and on the outside I'm going to add a little bit more hair there. So each time I'm pulling it to the middle and adding it either on the right or the left on the outside. So I'm pulling it to the middle, adding a little bit more hair to the outside. Switching hands pulling it to the middle and adding a little bit more hair. And each time you're just going to add a little bit of extra hair because you don't want to have really thick braids. You want it to be a little bit more on like the delicate side. So when you get to a point where it's sort of like the edge of where your temple is on your head, you can either stop there and braid it out, you can continue braiding it all the way down on your head. I'm probably going to add just a couple more sections here, pulling it to the middle, braiding on the opposite side, pulling it to the middle, and then I'm just going to braid the hair down like a normal braid. So then at the end, I'm just going to tie, tie the end off. So it's like that. I don't really like it sticking out in the middle of nowhere, so I'm going to take the bobby pins. I'm going to sort of pull the hair underneath my hair, so it's a little bit hidden. I'm going to take the bobby pins, and I'm just making sort of an X shape with it like that. And that's going to keep it in place. So then just put the hair down on top of it. And there you have it. You have a little fringe bang headband type of look. And my hair is out of the way and doesn't look crazy anymore. So that's about it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it wasn't too difficult. If you already know how to French braid, then it's not too bad. It's like instead of pulling around to the top, you're pulling down the backwards way through the middle. If you'd like to see more pictures and more information, you can visit my blog entry at fromheadtotoe.com. That's F-R-M-H-E-A-D-T-O-T-O-E.com. You can follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. That's twitter.com slash fromheadtotoe. And subscribe if you'd like more hair tutorials. So this is Jen, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.